Hello and welcome to my review of this Roman Gautier Logical One, which I've been wearing for a few weeks. Let's get started. Roman Gautier is a brand seldomly brought up amongst collectors in Singapore, even relative to its independent peers. Part of this is because no local retailer currently carries their watches. And another reason is because the brand only produces a staggering 50 watches or so per year. For reference, FP Journe creates about a thousand. The Logical One was first released back in 2013 and won the GPHG Men's Complication Prize in the same year for the innovative chain and fusée system that Gautier created. Put simply, a chain and fusée is one way to provide constant force to a watch. That means the watch will tick steadily, regardless of how much power is left. Through various innovations, the chain and fusée in the Logical One is both more efficient and reliable than a traditional system. So how is the Logical One to wear? Let's start off with the looks. One thing I really enjoy about the aesthetics of the Logical One is that you can clearly see how the watch works. There's a very open view of everything from how the chain and fusée system works, to even how the gears turn when you set the time with the crown. And yet, even though there are so many visible components, the well thought out design is still very clean. I also appreciate the fact that this watch has immense depth and a sense of airiness. In a world where watch brands are increasingly obsessed with creating thin watches, the Logical One unashamedly shows off layers of amazingly finished components that make the watch a joy to admire from different angles. As far as finishing is concerned, this Logical One is the best watch I've ever seen next to the Kari Votilainen I reviewed last year. It's a bit hard to compare the two watches, of course. The Kari is focused largely around the gear shade dial, while the Logical One has a bit of everything. Yet, what is important is that almost everything here is done up to perfection. My favorite elements include the enamel dial with incredible sharp blue hands and numerals. The chain and fusée itself is also a work of art, featuring mind-blowing finishing and also looking super cool with all the synthetic rubies weaved into the chain. Finally, the abundance of super sharp angles is an absolute joy to look at. It makes the Logical One unlike any other watch I've ever seen in person. Let's move on to wearability, which is the elephant in the room. The Logical One comes in at 43mm in diameter and 14.2mm in thickness. A set of relatively long lugs puts the lug to lug of this watch at just over 50mm, meaning that on my 17.5cm wrist, the watch is borderline. Yet, I still do enjoy wearing the watch. Paired with the titanium case, this Logical One has quite a nice, sporty and chunky feel. It's also worth highlighting that the Logical One wasn't designed to be an ultra-thin watch that you wear every single day. Instead, it's a piece of mechanical art that revolves around some awesome innovations of one of the rarest and most historied systems in watchmaking. That isn't to say Romain Gautier doesn't make watches that can be frequently worn. Both the Continuum and Inside Micro Rotor are watches that not only come in a much smaller and thinner package, but are also available on a rubber strap. Overall, the Romain Gautier Logical One is one of the rarest, most beautiful, and most well-finished watches I've ever experienced. While the wearability is not the best, I think it's fine, as the Logical One is more mechanical art than Daily Beater. If you're interested in the brand, I highly recommend directly reaching out to the team on Instagram. The people working for the brand are some of the friendliest in the industry. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, as there are plenty more reviews coming. Thank you.